Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at a quick and easy problem on exponents. After the IMO problem, hopefully this will be a quick and easy one. 2 to the power a equals 3 to the power b equals 7 to the power c and that equals 42. And we're supposed to evaluate 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c. Now when you see a problem like this, and especially when the exponent is the unknown, probably most of you are thinking about using logarithms. If you were using logarithms, what would happen? Well, if you have an equality like this one, say 2 to the power a is equal to 42, from here, by logging both sides in base 2, you could basically do the following, or you could just use the definition directly, it doesn't really matter. Here, you could just move the a to the front and write this as a times log 2 base 2, which is 1, so this would give you the value of a. Obviously, there's a method that involves logarithms that you can use to solve this problem, but not very many people are familiar with logarithms, and you may not even have any idea, like you may not have learned that at school or whatever. So that's why I'm going to be using a non-log approach here, but I already showed you how you could use logarithms to solve this kind of problem. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to find the 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c. So what am I going to do for that purpose? Well, take a look at this equation. 2 to the power a is equal to 42. Well, since a, b, c are not 0, they can't be 0 because otherwise they would be, the answer would be 1, we can basically do the following. We can raise both sides to another power, right? For example, I can just take this and raise it to the power 1 over a. And of course, that means I have to do the same thing on the right-hand side. Raise both sides to the power 1 over a. It's kind of like taking the a-th root, but a doesn't have to be an integer, so I wasn't using the root notation here, that's why. So from here, uh, you know, power of a power rule, we're going to multiply the powers. That's going to give me 2 to the power a times 1 over a, which becomes 2 to the power 1. And on the right-hand side, I'll be getting something like this. So this basically means that 2 equals 42 to the power 1 over a. So I was able to express 2 in terms of 42, but what is so good about that, right? My goal is to find 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c. So it kind of makes sense if you could get... 1 over a in our expression, right? Because we, that's the sum we need to find at the end. So, going by the same method, you can say that from here, 3 equals 42 to the power of 1 over b, and from here, you can say that 7 equals 42 to the power of 1 over c. So let's see what that gives us. 3 equals 42 to the power of 1 over b, and 7 equals 42 to the power of 1 over c. Now we're thinking, I'm supposed to get 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c, and again, without using logarithms, I can't really isolate 1 over a, 1 over b, and 1 over c, but here's what I can do. I can use the rules of exponents. How about multiplying these expressions? And what's the motivation behind multiplication? Well, there are two motivations behind it. First is when you multiply three powers with the same base, you add the exponents. So on the right-hand side, you're definitely going to get 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c. And the second motivation is multiplying 2 times 3 times 7 is going to give you 42. And yes, that does the trick. So let's go ahead and do this. Multiply, you get 42. On the right-hand side, you get this times this times this. And as you know, it is the sum of the exponents. And now we've got a basic exponential equation. Obviously, 42 can be written as 42 to the power 1. So from here, we can safely say that since the bases are equal, the exponents are also equal, which gives us 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over c equals 1. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.